cute. I love so it. Ten. How exciting. Two peas. In a placard. In robes. In robes. <laughs> okay, like we it. are going on an adventure. When are we not going on an adventure? We always are. Okay, how do I end it? <laughs> Press it. I'm gonna get in trouble. They're breaking the law. Different. It tastes different. Like, 
You know what I think is funny? We really thought we were gonna sit here and eat ice cream while I tell you the story, and it's like I, I just have to eat the ice cream. I can't really talk that well while eating ice cream. I get it. Okay. You don't understand. That's good. Tell. <laughs> Okay, let me move this closer. <laughs> I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> this year, my teeth. We're back to my teeth. I'm telling the story. So, I get a text from Lila. Wait, no, I'm gonna I'm still tell the beginning part. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, there's something in your tooth. Good thing I stopped. Oh my god, it's awesome. You get it? You need, no, it's like Oreo. You need to like swish this around. You know Oreos can be stubborn. shifting this year I could like feel them shifting and I had braces for, for four years so I was like fuck this is really bad I cannot have my teeth move so I was getting like really upset about this I lost my retainers three two years ago and I stopped wearing them but they that's why they were shifting and also because my wisdom teeth were growing in so it was just a whole mess so I went to um this dentist and I went to have a what is that called a retainer yeah oh yeah, a mold done for a new retainer. And she was telling me I need to get my wisdom teeth removed. And I was like, I've been known this, okay? I've been told I need to get them removed, but it's just like really expensive to do. You know, it's like between yeah. 200 to like $600 per tooth, per tooth. So um, she referred me to this oral surgeon and she's like, go see him, and you know, he'll let you know how much it's gonna cost or whatever. She referred me like two different people. So I made an appointment and it was in like, I can't remember the name of the city. It's like, whatever, that doesn't matter. It's 30 minutes away from LA, so let me have this. So I go to see the surgeon for a consultation, you know, where they're just gonna tell you. Yeah. This is what we can do. This is why you need to have them removed. And I go, I drive myself and <laughs> I go in there and they, you know, look at my teeth and he's like, yeah, you need to have your wisdom teeth removed. This is great that the dentist referred you here. They tell me how much it's gonna cost. And it's like around $1,700 for this whole procedure to be done, right? And he's telling him, he's like, yeah, we could just do it today. We could do it right now. And we won't even put you to sleep. You you could you can drive afterwards. And this is why I'm afraid of the dentist. You go in for a checkup, and they're like, "Let me pull some teeth." So my worst nightmare. So um, he tells me this, and I was like, "So you know, on top of this, obviously there's Corona and the pandemic." And I was like, "Okay, if you don't do it today." when are you available to do it and he was like december 30th i'll be back in the office and so i'm sitting here thinking um i don't like i should just do it today i don't know what was going through my okay okay this way so listen are you okay i'm traumatized for you okay well first of all i think the reason i went I'm ahead and did it so awesome is because the surgeon he kind of reminded me of like Dexter. You seen the show Dexter? I've seen a couple episodes. Okay, he's just kind of like like low key psychopath, which is the kind of person you want doing surgery. I feel like because they're like you know someone that like really enjoys their job. 
really knows what they're doing. He's like, he's That's he's like, I've been plucking teeth all day. You know, there's other people who've been doing this That's all fair. day. So That's I was fair. like, That's he's fair. like, yeah, this guy right here, he's getting his tooth done. Whatever, tooth teeth. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. So one tooth, one um, teeth, one tooth, two teeth. I can't even. So I don't even like. I call my mom and I'm like, okay, I think I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. And my parents are like, wait, really? Like, you're by yourself? And I'm like, yeah, I, but I need to get it done. I just need to get it done. I, I, t I sent Eric a text real quick, my boyfriend. I'm like, I'm gonna get my teeth pulled. And he's like, wait, what? Like, shouldn't I be with you? And I was like, no, they, they said it'd be fine. They said I can drive afterwards. So I just decide I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna get my teeth pulled out of my head. It's awesome. And I, I just, I've been needing to get it done. And so I go walk back in there and I tell the dentist or oral surgeon, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it. So he, they like, it was local anesthesia that they used. In my okay. Mouth. Okay. Did they give you any painkillers? No. So they just, I opened my mouth and he just started injecting some stuff in my root, my mouth. <laughs> and, you know, it got super, super numb. And he was wearing a face mask and I'll like, I <laughs> You know, you're like head is back and you have the doctor like looking at you. My mouth is open. He's about to like take out the tooth and he's like, you're not going to feel anything, but you're going to hear some stuff, which is like your bones cracking in your skull. I've never gotten my wisdom teeth taken out and so this is... So he pulls it out and like, it's just a whole bunch of pressure and my blood splatters onto his face shield, okay? Oh. And he starts laughing, and he's like, <laughs> I should go out and scare the nurses. <laughs> so I was like, this guy's fantastic. I was like, this is great. This is exactly who I need to be doing <laughs> this right now. So then he takes out, um, he does these two, uh, I think he did the two top first. Actually, I don't know. I don't know what order they were at. I just know that when he got to this side, he's like, it's double rooted. Good thing I've taken out 20,000 teeth before this because apparently that's like more difficult to do. Oh so he takes out the tooth. They all had cavities on them. I asked if I could take my teeth with me, but wasn't allowed to take them with me. Really? Yeah. So after he takes out the teeth, they put this like big gauze in your mouth and you have to hold your mouth shut so you look like, you look like a chipmunk. My whole face was swollen and you're supposed to just sit there, you know, and just like relax. But I was just wandering around for some reason. I don't know. I was like, <laughs> I was picking up my teeth. <laughs> they should not have just left me alone in there. And I was like picking up my bloody teeth. <laughs> and then the, like the nurse comes in and she's like, you're supposed to be sitting. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I have to go pay for this. Oh, this is the best part, Sasha. I didn't like the best part. So I hope there's the best part. The best this. part is he is like you know put right before. Um, <laughs> he has a big needle in his hand. Okay, and he's like okay, because they take your blood pressure and he's he's gonna yeah. get the needle and he's like okay, so your heart's gonna start pounding and you're gonna be filled with adrenaline, but that's normal. So your heart rate will accelerate. It's like the needle's coming into my face and then. I had like tears, like streaming tears, and I was crying, you know? And they thought I was crying because I was like so scared and like, you know, but that's not why I was crying. I'm actually really happy that these are out, okay? I was crying because I was like, I'm paying so much money for this! What the fuck? Like, are you kidding me? $1,700 for this bullshit? And the only reason I went ahead and was doing it is because if they put you to sleep, it'll cost more. So I was like, fuck it. Take them out. Like, you know what? If this is the price, take them out. I'm not paying more to be knocked out. I'm a fucking boss. Just rip them out of my face. That's what was happening. But they didn't know that. They, they just thought I was crying. I want to see the holes in your mouth. That was gross. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Anyways. Um, that's why I was crying and they literally thought I was crying because I was like scared like and he's like I'll just take out this too. We'll, we'll see how she's gonna react and so he just numbs one side first and takes out one tooth to be and she's like Oh, she's fine. And I was 
Because I wasn't going to tell him, like, yo, I'm crying. Because, like, yeah. why is this costing <laughs> me so much, you know? But that's why I was crying. I would have. So. But then you can't really talk. Your mouth is, like, open. Yeah. So, um, they take him out of my head. I'm wandering around. And I shouldn't be. I have to go pay for this bullshit. And then I have to drive myself home. And in hours of traffic, okay, it was it was an hour and twenty minutes of traffic on the way fucking home, cause it was so far away. And why not? I know. And I'm like, but the good part about it was it was the exact time I needed to keep my gauze in. So when I got home, I just plucked them out. But what they let you just drive, drive home? home? Yeah, cause it's local anesthesia. And they didn't give you any painkillers. No. They made they gave me a prescription for antibiotics. I'm never getting my wisdom teeth taken out. I mean, okay, so this is what, like. This is insane. I am really happy that I did it because, my gosh, I can totally feel that there's so much more room in my mouth and um, it's so much easier for me to floss. And my wisdom teeth weren't growing out. They didn't grow out straight. They were like sideways. Or but these two were like growing out like this. So they were only erupting from the gum. You could just see the top part. And then these two had grown out fully. And they looked nice. But it was starting to push my... I feel like it was ruining my orthodontic work. Oh, so yeah. So I was like, no. I needed to do... I needed to pluck them out. So, so you, what are your questions? <laughs> you guys... I just get, so I'm like, all right, good luck. Oh, Why yeah, this is so funny. I'm like, good luck getting your molding today. Yeah, she'll be like, yeah, it's going to take about two hours. Four hours later, I get a video Oh, yeah, they told us last night I was going to get a retainer. Yeah, all I knew about was a retainer. I get a random video message. Was it on Thanksgiving Day? It was, oh, yeah, this is, forgot to tell the best part about it. I got my wisdom teeth removed the day before Thanksgiving, and I didn't realize this until, like, the first tooth was being plucked out. I was like, oh, shit, Thanksgiving's tomorrow. And then I text Sawson. I was like, hey, I just got my wisdom teeth removed. No, that's no, not what not, she did. That's not what I did. That's not what she said. She sends me a video message out of the blue, and it's her chipmunk self, and she's, like, in her car already concerned chipmunk mouth like i just got my wisdom teeth removed but i couldn't understand her it was more like i just got my wisdom teeth <laughs> and i literally i i watched the video like four times trying to understand what it said and then i was like i thought it was like Something that came up in her memories from years ago. Because I'm like, she just wants to go get her retainer done. There's no way she got her te wisdom teeth removed. And so I'm like, when did, when did this happen? Like, how many years ago was this, you know? And she's like, right now. Right now. And I'm driving myself home. Yeah. You're driving yourself home? Aren't you, like, woozy? And, like, I always see videos of people getting their wisdom teeth removed. And they're like... Well, that's if you get put to sleep. So there's different... Yeah, there's you can be put to sleep or you can be awake. And I think it really just depends on your, I think it's for anxiety people, because it is very like anxiety inducing. But like I said, I was crying because it's expensive. Like I wasn't scared of the actual teeth part of it being done. That part didn't scare me. It was like me giving them that money to do this, to hurt me. Like it just was like, it, that's what was upsetting to me. I'm like, I am paying for this to be done to me right now. This torture. Yeah, this sucks. This sucks so bad. It does suck. But I was really proud of myself and I just felt like... I'm also proud of you. I just felt like I'm 29, you know? You know how I love Bruno Mage. Um, I'm 29 and this is like getting my wisdom teeth removed, doing this is the responsible thing for me to do because it's gonna give me problems in the future. And crazy enough, like I called my sister, she's 32, and we were, and I had told her, I was like, oh, I got my wisdom teeth removed, and she's having problems with hers right now. So she's like, ah, I need to go do that. So I'm like, see, I'm glad I did you can, it. You can avoid that at 32. Exactly, you know? I'm just like, there's a lot of things in my 20s that I'm just trying to leave in my 20s, and my 
wisdom teeth are included in that goodbye. You are left here. You will not be coming with me on my journey into my beautiful thriving 30s where life is just going to be spectacular because I'm just telling you the 20s, she was a little rough, fun, rough, but you know, it was fun, but I learned a lot of shit and I had to conquer. I think I'm a learning lot. a lot too. But that's good. I'm here to guide you. Yeah. I'm in my Saturn return according to Lila. Yeah. 27. I still don't really know what that, what is it? Did I say it right? Yeah. Saturn return. Saturn return. I don't know. I've never heard of that until Lila brought it up. But if it if it can explain all the weird shit that's been happening to me the past year, amid a pandemic, then yeah. I'm in a Saturn return. Whatever that means. I'm just I'm happy that I got the wisdom teeth removed the day before Thanksgiving in 2020 because it's just so fitting. Okay, now my other question. So I'm glad you got your wisdom teeth removed. I know that's a big thing. I know ugh, that's that sounds terrifying. Also. <laughs> really funny that your blood like splattered on the guy's face because mm -hmm. like you always see that in movies like where like the blood splatters like it just like shoots like a water gun and you're like that's fake and like that actually happened to you oh yeah it was it, it splattered all over his face mask and when he laughed i was like oh this guy's it he knows exactly what he's doing this is great <laughs> this is who i need that's fair. to be doing the job right sounds now. great sounds yeah it was great so i have a, I have a dentist or oral surgeon appointment on Friday for them to check it up. And yeah, I'm, I've just been living off of soups. And ice cream? And ice cream. But it seems like it's been healing well. Like your face is not swollen. Yeah, it's, and, and it's just like, I've been sleeping so much better because like I said, my, my wisdom teeth were giving me problems and it was making me clench my jaw at night. Oh, wow. And now I don't clench anymore. So I like, I just feel like I, my like, tongue is in the right position where it needs to be which is on the roof of my mouth that's where I like it I like it I like my tongue to be touching the roof right behind my front teeth I it's called mewing it's like a it's like a facial shaping thing I've been really into it it's on YouTube if you look it up mewing it's like a, it's, it's tongue mind. posture it helps your jaw I think my tongue does it right yeah, it's like on the top. Yeah, then it's the perfect tongue posture. Oh, man. Look at me. I have tongue posture and I didn't even know it. Yes. So, I'm really happy for you. You got your wisdom teeth out. <laughs> Drove yourself home like a rock star. I really felt like a badass. When, as I was driving myself home, you are. I was just like, wow. Wow, I can do anything. Honestly, I can do anything. I can drive myself to an appointment. I can get a surgery and I could drive my ass back home. It felt great. It felt really good. I'm you know, impressed. And it's like, I'm impressed. I, I'm just happy that I was like, I'm going to get it over with. Because a part of me was going to be like, oh, I should shop around. But I'm like, we're in a pandemic. Like, this is not really a shopping. It's, yeah, it's and I just don't know who's going to be open and he wasn't going to be in the office for another month and then what's, how, what do we, we don't know what the hell is going to happen in a month and my teeth are hurting me today, so just tough it out and get them out of my head. But no pain? Not right now, no. But like during the procedure? No. Pain. No, it's just a bunch of pressure and the cracking of your teeth and just like, that's what I'm saying, like I feel um, like it's more of, it just depends on your anxiety level of things. Like, it didn't hurt me. I'm terrified of the dentist. I can go to the doctor, get as many needles, blood tests, anything you want. Like, I've done it. Spine, spinal taps. No. But the dentist. I'm scared of the dentist. I'm literally scared of the dentist. The one part that was really scary was he had numbed my mouth, right? And he took out my teeth. And I'm going to be honest with you, Sasson. I didn't know which ones were my wisdom teeth. Like, I thought... <laughs> I thought they were taking out teeth that hadn't erupted yet. Like, they were, like, back here or something. Oh. Okay, so when he took out those teeth, I was like, oh, that was, is that the right one? <laughs> yeah, I got... Like, Wait, I was, no, like, I'm questioning. Because, okay... Yeah, I, because I was like, I was confused, but now I understand, like, 
I was I was just really confused, Austin. And it was also really scary because when they numb it and they're taking out the teeth, like at that moment, I, I should have had him tell me which teeth or what because I didn't know. You know. No, I didn't know. So I, was, I think I made a really like. So your teeth. I'll tell you which ones they are. Let me see. Open your mouth. I can't. I can't see them. I think they're grown in then. Mine have grown in. It just never bothered me then. Yeah. My, well, mine, okay. They were fully grown and they were straight and normal. So I thought those were normal teeth. And I didn't know that's the one he was going to take out. You get what I'm saying? Yes. No, I know. So then I was like, oh. But that tooth also had, the, had a cavity on it. So I was like, well. Go anyway. Go anyways. Go anyways. Go anyways. But I thought my wisdom teeth were like teeth no, that were behind too. that, that no, were like too. in my skull somewhere. <laughs> no, that's and what now I thought. looking back on it, it's like, what the hell was I looking at? Because <laughs> that's not what it is. The more you know. Yeah. Okay, so this is our 10th episode. We've got matching robes because we're having a cozy Wait. slumber party day. <laughs> I still have more questions. Okay, what? <laughs> So now I have questions that are unrelated to wisdom teeth. Okay. So driving. Mm hmm How can you reach the foot pedals or like see over the steering wheel? Okay, that's a good question. First, my right foot is my strong foot. And thankfully, that's the foot you use to drive. You know, left foot doesn't even matter. So right foot is what I use to drive. I can move all, I can move it all the way around. Anyways, I sit on a booster seat made for children. So like a little, okay. like how a kid would sit in the booster seat and a little back pillow. And then that's how I see. My legs are long enough to reach. Really? Mm -hmm. It's just my torso that's like oh. too short. And then everything else is the same. And I've driven the same car since I was 16. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I've had the same car. Are you scared to get a new car? No, I've just, just had, you works. know, it works. I'm gonna drive it till it's dead. <laughs> so, no. So you did you get a chance to like eat any Thanksgiving food? I had mashed potatoes. That's what I ate. That's most people's favorite part. Mm hmm Well, and what did you do for Thanksgiving? I went to Air Experience. Oh, I love that. It was really cute. Mashed potatoes at Air Experience. And this is a blueberry holy basil marine college drink. So we're doing a drink? <laughs> yes, we're talking about our drink. Because I actually drank the whole thing, and I'm going to give a proper review. Um, no, I'm not. Okay, but the only reason I got this is because of the collagen. And when I went on, like, a crazy Google watching of teeth, um, apparently I need more collagen because my mouth is healing. So I was like, ooh, let me. Collagen. Good yeah. to know. Um... Well, your story definitely did not make me any less scared of the dentist, I will say. But you liked it? But I loved your story. I'm really happy you got your wisdom teeth taken out. Thanks. I know that's a big milestone in people's lives. And <laughs> honestly, could well, I mean, I've, I've heard horror stories of people having complications. And, yeah. you know, you see the videos of people, like, saying some non -stuff, what, nonsense when they're, like, recovering. You know, if they get the anesthesia. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy it all went great, and I'm happy that you have more room in your mouth. Me too. Yay! <laughs> Look at our matching robes. I love this so much. Let me put on them. <laughs> Thanks for watching episode ten. And comment, like, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram.